Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov. I see we're about to close out 1727. Wow, oh, we're getting modern now. <laughs> so, what is going on? Winter's here. Let's go ahead and kick the speed up a little bit right there. And think about things. I kind of... Oh, hello. I've been waiting for that one. Slow that back down again. There we go. Balaklia. They will sell us cows. Okay. Well, that's not what I was going to talk about first, but I'm definitely going to take it. They'll also buy potatoes. Hmm. Ten cows, price per 35. Ooh, that's changed. No longer ten for everything now. Ooh, maybe it's not the best plan that I had to buy cows and turn them into, uh, into shoes. Hmm. We can only afford six. Well, seven, eight, maybe. We can get to right there, and we're broke. Eight. Hmm. Well, that's a change I wasn't expecting. I wish I could easily forecast how much one hide, one cow, would actually turn into. Would we come out ahead or uh, with this plan or not? Let's buy... $100 worth. We'll do that. Deal. And what I think I want to do then, we only have six days till they arrive. There's only, what I say? Three? It's yes, three coming, so we don't have to worry about which one it lands in, because that's not an issue anymore. Um, I did, before we started, set this for, figure we can spare 12 units of potatoes. And we've got three of our six sunflower oil, too. Um... Sunflower. I don't think I've ever seen sunflower oil in this list every time I've checked. But potato, we've got 20... Where are you at in there? There you are, 25. And there's two over here. And we're not expecting any. We could sell some potatoes to offset some of this. Is kind of what I'm, I'm trying to get stammered out. Just trying to figure out how to do it with the timing that's available. What is that? Oh, that's a family that just moved in. Okay, man. Their, their taxi's leaving. Hmm. Okay. So, we need to get potatoes over here. We need to get them quick. And we need to wait until... Right there. Until we've got enough time to... Let's see. You guys, six days away. And visiting for 22 more days. So, easily into January 1st. We could... We have until then to get 12 potatoes over here. As much as possible. And then sell them those 12 potatoes. Okay. Let's kick the wages up in this one. This is going to take a week before somebody actually uh, reads the classifieds and moves in. Um, two of you. Or two more to that one. 120%. Let's see if that helps to get this guy fill up. Oh, there we go. Now, go and get those potatoes. So everyone grab carts and get moving. Hmm. Is there another way to do this? Do No, there isn't. I was going to say, we, well, maybe there is. I was going to say, do we put up a warehouse near this guy to be actively bringing things over so that we can just hire, when we need a major trade, hire someone to quickly just go back and forth and get it? Or is that really you know, their job to go out there and get it? So am I making it more complicated than it needs to be? But, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we could put in another granary over here so that the stuff's readily available, but then all the market stalls have got to walk that much further to do that too. So they'll be competing and dragging goods out of one granary to the next, back and forth, and it, it, it would just get bad. <laughs> so, okay, you guys are. Potatoes are waiting. We're, we're, we're working. Okay, so January 1st, we need to talk about dealing in potatoes, at which time we could talk about dealing in three more cows. Assuming that we can pay for them. So that's what's up there. Um, I'm curious to see what is actually coming. It seems like it's one-year-olds that roll in. Don't know if that's the case. We'll, we'll verify that. But that... Uh, hmm. What What is in here right now? I cleared out all but... Just... You know, the, oh, they're still here to be slaughtered. Oh, okay. I set those beforehand. I just kind of... Okay. 
that not enough time has gone by. So we're actually needing to get those three and this one. Okay, so let's get some of that going. Over here, slaughterhouse. All right, these are things I was thinking about and left me left myself some notes, but didn't actually do it. Slaughterhouse gets you going. Get those four out. Wasiba comes in and see if we can't get uh, either those or some others um, processed as well and get this treasury back into uh, positive territory. If we go here, we do get a sense of what our what our budgets have been like. We have not been exporting for quite some time. This year we did get rid of a little bit. That was the sunflower oil. But, and we've got the house rent coming in. We've got this coming in from our own local sales. Going out, importing, 150 out. So we've lost 140 so far this year, grand total. Hmm. And that's the way it's going. No, actually we're gonna lose another 100 beyond that because we're gonna buy these three cows. Yeah, how are you guys doing over here? Potatoes, we have two in. There's another one coming. It's going to take a while. Okay, anything else to do before we kick the speed back up again? I was going to go through and check things, just make sure that the jobs are what they're supposed to be for winter time. Um, do we want to put in any more carts? Is there any reason to cart from this area? That's kind of what I'm wondering. You... And you just walk back and forth like this. Shoemaker shop is not up and running. Slaughterhouse still hasn't been hired. Okay, we got we got to wait a week for that to happen. Let me get that going. I don't think there's a reason to get more carts over here. These guys have access to carts right there. We could possibly put another cart in. Yeah, we could do that. The other ones over here. One for you, one for you, and the other is right over here. And one for you, sure. Let's go ahead and bring in a carpenter for a little while. Get that going. Otherwise, before the episode started, I oops, roamed through the the farms one more time because, you know, they're all staggered in different orders and, and a little confusing. Why it does that, maybe that's what's been fixed by the idea that we're no longer going to lose the crop rotations when the farm manager gets fired. I wonder if they just swapped out jobs, if it would scramble anything here. That's why it seems to have randomly moved around on me. But it seems like all three of the towns that I've run in this series, when I get it all set, I go back and the orange is staggered into different columns. Like, it didn't move to the next one once in a while. Or it skipped one or something. So I went through and just stared at this a while to try to figure out if everything was what it was supposed to be and I adjusted a few things here and there I was still doing mostly just the in fact I did I did pull the hemp out of here so we're just doing potatoes and wheat over here we had a lot of wheat well we have still a lot of hemp that's got to be dealt with by when does it start is it February 1st or is it I don't know I don't remember now but yeah we do need to get these in we have another slot available here at 110% um, otherwise, again, over here, three potatoes in now, two coming in. Let's go ahead and fire off a, a load of six to be sold. Half of the, half of it here. So that we get at least something in here in case this gets forgotten. So let's potato and make that a six over there, which brings in another 50. So two of those would buy us two more cow, three more cows. Let's get that going. Otherwise, the cows should be showing up here soon, right? What do we got over here? There they are. Yeah. Can't wait till we get little crunches in the snow. Something like that. But slowly but surely, he's making his way in there. And it it's sunny. It seemed like it was grayer before. Like it was a more of a stormy day. I don't know. It just seems yellower than it was a little bit ago. Um, speed up. Let's let this, these things happen. We'll get to the end of December. Verifying we still have 15 more days, and that is you know, more than 15. So I'm thinking January 3 or 4 is about when our timer runs out. So kind of keep track up there as far as initiating one more round of all this. So we're going to end up with less... Uh, less money, a hundred less when we're done. But I'm hoping that these cows process through into shoes and beef 
we'll make up for all that. All right, we hired here. We are awaiting hides. Okay, so it's time to bring you on board and get these these uh, hides processed into leather. And then once that whole process is done, we'll fire these guys and bring in the shoemaker again and get that going. The other source of income right here. We still got two willing to work at the weaver. Um, textile 1.2. It takes an awful lot of hemp to make a textile. That's what it seems like. So two have been working at it and working at it. We have 0.3 and 1.2. So 1.5 to show for all that work. Family is out of food. These two over here are having trouble. Having trouble finding income. I did, in between, walk through these and set them up to give another job or two to this area. That's the original one that was hired. Nobody has... Ah, somebody's moved into here as far as got, you know, employed. And we're waiting for someone to head into this one. We do have a laborer bringing a, a whole unit of potatoes over but how are we doing there the mayor's house has got six now this is one that was giving us trouble before uh market stall now they're up to 13. this one smithy and farm well, the smithy's good paying job and constant pretty pretty much so 21 over there and 31 over here we've got it the tannery okay you just got that job the other one had the market stall okay this market stall did not fill yet Okay, cattle, don't see him here. Where's the one who would leave? Maybe one of these guys? No. Who brought the cows, where did they drop them, and where's the... I think it's you. Let's see where you go after this. Yeah, nope, you turned. So they come, but they don't leave. Interesting, we'll have to watch the next one. Yeah, I expected to see a wagon taken off, unless it really happened that much faster than I expected, and it's, it's long since done. Anyway, six, nine. So they brought them to the closest one, not the first one built. Okay, well, they've established that one. And they brought probably the, the three one-year-olds. So let's go ahead and set these three right here up for slaughter. We'll leave the, the young ones to grow up, and... We'll leave the bull and the and the three older cows in case there's an age uh, requirement for giving milk. There's a little bit of milk stored here now. We don't have, though I may have put milk back into this one. Yeah, uh, in place of, let's see, what is this over here, right there? So it was in place of beef. Okay, we'll leave the beef over here. We'll do the milk over there. Is there any way to... We could put milk over here in place of beef. And then, because there's beef in all of the meat stalls the, that include the chicken and the dried fish. So that actually would make sense. Let's put milk in the other ones then. So instead of beef, we're going to put in milk. All right, that spreads it out pretty well. Family's out of money. It's always going to be these two. Okay. Um, who, who are you and hello? Six potatoes. A lot happens when you run the game load. Oh, when you run the game too fast. Missed it completely. Yeah. I like playing games on slow, but that kind of makes series drag on for way too many episodes for the average viewer to have the patience to watch. So when I speed it up so that as to make everyone happier, I miss things. And that's unfortunate. Anyway, family's out of firewood. Man, you guys have it rough. Um, all right, how do we get more jobs over here? Well, th we talked about several episodes ago was recreating this little triangle right here, over here on this curve too. Some kind of a triangle right in there with a couple of market stalls and trees and benches and that sort of thing. So that might be the route to go here. Let's just throw some fences in real quick to give us a, a sense of, of a border and see if that's what we really want to do here. Um, which fences? These go to the fields, pastures. These go to the houses. But that's not what was used here. We did the three rail. The split rail. Is that you? Yeah, that one right there. Okay. So, let's... Theoretically, it kind of comes down right like this. 
that width. Let's try that, see what it looks like. So this guy, starting in that corner, don't know. But let's start it at, say, this point over here and head out that way. And where do we want this to split from? Too long, okay. Whoa, way too long. Okay, so let's head out over here. And actually, that's what the what these are made out of. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this again. There. Snap off that corner. Snap over. It doesn't snap now. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll just try to line that up properly, about like so. So you're going to go... Ah, uh, it doesn't work like these. I can't just right-click and, and re, you know, cancel it partially. Got to start over. Okay, so I'm going to have to just do it right from the beginning. Somewhere around there is close enough, I'd say. Yeah. So let's follow this guy parallel as long as it will let me. So we can do something like that. So let's make the posts somewhat line up, I'd say there. Then from there, what? Any reason to walk through this? Might be. Let's do it in segments so I can pull that out if I choose to. So about like so. And yeah, something like that. And then we'll go to what would be the split. Right there, the fork in the road. Now, this probably should be... Hmm, how big does it need to be? I mean, we can go to there and go off to like that. But that looks like this is getting a little bit too big. Let's stop there. We'll build this thing and we'll end it wherever it just naturally ends. Because somewhere in here we also have to get some kind of, a, uh, of an entrance. So yeah, that's already too big. Um, right there and demolish you. Try that again. Uh, right there, this guy, snap into there. So we're heading for something like that. Which means we want to go to about there. There. It's got to be longer than that. We'll do there, and maybe halfway into here. Hmm. We'll do another entrance. Hold on, if I could just move it one pixel, there. Then come out over this way. All right, something like that. Then we'll pull, let's see, I gotta get over the top. That segment out. And you do that segment out. Okay. With that, we can get a couple more market stalls set in. What else is happening? We are in the middle of January. We're on slow speed now, so it's like time is dragging on and not moving anymore. Um, yeah, we'll speed this up till we start to see the spring thaw. What else is happening here, though? Uh, did we bring in? We oh, well, now we're heading for another twelve. Okay, we got it. Take you down to, say, eight. Right there. Family is out of money. And again, it's over there. Yep. Um, though you have some of several things in stock. And you're awaiting other things. So you're out of money, but you're still eating fine. Okay. Um, here, 8.7. Potatoes awaiting. We're heading for 10. All right, well, we'll leave it at 8. And I don't. I think the rest are just going to sit there for a while. Okay, back over here. We have got at least two market stalls to put in. Maybe three. I think we're kind of into the uh, the number of products now to justify three in, in each of the, the clusters. So that is this guy and market stall. How do we lay this out so that it looks interesting? R spins it. We're mostly going to service the houses out here and whatever grows beyond. Um, that is it, right? 
that's it. It's just these guys. Really, we're just trying to come up with an excuse to give these guys a job. So, I'd say that works. Um, could parallel this one like so. Uh, back one. Something like that. Okay, something like that. And then one more. He'll be parallel to the fence. Yeah, something like that. That'll work. Then we'll get trees in here, benches and whatnot. But let's go ahead and set up the basics here. We want flour and potatoes and we weren't doing milk anymore. What else was there for the basics? Uh, fish, right there. And firewood, that was the other basics. Okay, there's the first one. You will be a woman and a man and one ten percent and higher okay there's that um january just getting into february okay not seeing any thaw happening yet all right you will be the sunflower oil clothes shoes and we went with milk on this one, on the other ones now, uh, right there. You will be chicken eggs, chicken meat. You're the protein vendor. Dried fish and beef. Okay, so actually, new no. fire. And, you know, maybe I will put a guy in there. Let's think about that right there and no hired labor at all you can go off and do all of your own supplying over here we'll make this one a lady right there with a a guy as a laborer and hire one and once that one left he got offended and he never came back did he <laughs> and we'll go ahead and pop up one notch since we're kind of out here in the middle of nowhere and this one as well that one was done yeah. So let's see if that gives these any more jobs. We have a market stall and a farm over here. Okay. Over here, market stall and a market stall. They both took that one. Over here, we've got unemployed and a market stall. Up, I wonder if the one market stall was, let's see, family is, well, Stanislav. Are you Stanislav? You are. So, and your last name uh, right here, Azmaka. No. Usk. So different market stalls somewhere else. But I'm thinking there's the or Usik? I'll say it's Usik. And then Osmaka. Asmeka? Asmaka. Yep. And alright. And there. Forestry, weaver shop, unemployed market stall, market stall, market stall, and farm and market stall. Okay, so we've got jobs over here now. We've got middle of February and must be the end of February that uh, everything thaws. When I go so long in between uh, groups of episodes, you kind of kind of lose all those little details. Anyway, so the farms are set. They're ready. This guy as well was already ready and it's doing fine. It hasn't changed its cycle. All, the orange is all up the same column, so everything is still aligned the way it's supposed to be. Got two people working here right now. One more than is necessary. 169 in the treasury. Now let's make sure this whole system is employed and running. We've got hides and leather. Hides and let's get this going. And you are bringing leather. Okay, so as soon, soon as leather is available. 50 of 50 is done. Let's turn firewood off over here. You're just going to concentrate on leather. Where are you? There you are. And show path. You are going home. <laughs> and now you're going to get a cart? No, you're going to go sit on a bench. Because you heard we needed leather. Yeah. Um, right there is employed. Looking for leather. She is sitting on her own bench. Mm-hmm. So, I wonder if they're husband and wife. 
Okay, she's going to work, and she's going to have to get the leather that her lazy husband wouldn't uh, wouldn't bring home for her. He is, he's got his cart. Okay. Oh, he already did it? No. But you're in here. <clears throat> Reserve leather. There's lots of leather. Why are you not getting leather? Hmm. Well, we'll stare at that for a little while. We are still third week of February. No thaw happened. Oh, a little bit of thaw right there. Just getting started. Okay. Are we done slaughtering cattle? No scroll bar there. No scroll bar there. You no longer need to be employed. So you're done. And you've still got two hides over here waiting to be carried over by this guy who is home. <laughs> nope, he's on his way to work. Is that him there? I think it is. He's going to get to work, then he's going to pop over and grab another hide. Or, I think, half a hide. No, you're going to grab a cart so you can walk right across the street and get a hide. That's what I was thinking needed a cart. Because he's going to insist on using carts anyway. Interesting. Okay, let's do it. All right there. There you are. Right there, cart parking. Um, zoom down. That's the front. Let's turn it around. Okay, we're off a little bit, which means that's as close as we're going to get. Yeah. Now we're off by a lot. Okay, that's as far as it gets. So right about there and get you set up with at least two carts and actually I can move a cart from here yeah let's do that let's uh, I cannot un I can unqueue them ordered right click no that one must have be started already so we're committed let's take one of these and put them there and let's take one of these and put them there and that will take care of that much faster all right then, so we're now carting much faster between these buildings. Okay, you have got one hide left. You are at home again. <laughs> and you're heading to the market stall or you're going to get a hold of what? Ooh, birds. You're gonna get a hold of 0.1 flower and take it back home, okay. We could spend a whole episode just following one person around the whole map. Boom. Now, I think that was the wife bringing in firewood. There we go. Let's see where Nazar goes. If I get too close, I can't see him anymore. I tip more? I could do it that way, but that's almost a little nauseating. Let's get a little perspective here. All right, so you are heading to the tannery. Then you're going to grab a cart so you can go across the street, load up a whole bunch of point ones, bring it over to the tannery, unload a whole bunch of point ones, go over to the cart house, drop it off, and then we're going to make some leather. That is the day in the life of an Australian. Now, are we... we're March. Let's take it back down to one. What's happening here? One laborer is in. We are plowing. Two of them plowed already. I'm impressed. Got our plows running over here. And you're just getting into position to start. Ah, okay. Well, good. So we've got room for six jobs now. We've got five plus the one. And then over here, kind of the same situation. It's just a matter of getting people to do jump in there and do the jobs. Uh, you guys are still unemployed. We've got plenty of nails. There's a thousand nails. You're done with the nail job. All right. You, hmm, warehouse. I would say, well, we didn't hire anyway, so it's not truly needed. Never did fill this one back up. I would imagine you guys have got a lot done. 200 wood, only 41 firewood, but there's a lot of firewood scattered around the place. Let's send you guys into the fields for a while. And did these get left? They're 
at 130 percent right now let's make these 150 i adjusted them after last episode as i was editing it seemed like it was leaving a 200 was going to be a big mistake but we are out all around so we're going to have to get some uh some hay in this season and if I don't record another one till patch 7, I know I won't remember to take care of that. So really I just want to patch up or type any loose ends sitting out there. Alright, already working on second field on both. I wonder why these sort of little artifacts get left behind. It is interesting how sometimes they get left. I've noticed several of the fields have done that between the different towns. Um, over here, hired just the two still. And over here, let's go ahead and take us up to four, like we did last time. That seemed to work out pretty good. We'll do that. Only four slots available here. This one has five. Really, no rhyme or reason. So, well, interesting. It says five. But there's, oh, has to do with what jobs are actually available. I see. We filled this. That dropped even further. Okay. Well, there's two working there right now, and we're pretty good over here. Let's just get everything planted up. All right. So, what next? We've got no construction going on right now, which is rare. Normally, there's a big queue sitting up there. So, we actually have all the town services in that are necessary. I don't really think we've got the need for another farm, except for... A constant supply of sunflower oil. That makes sense. Keep this guy always up and running. We have... Oh. Interesting. Because we're not hauling it away. So he's just come to... He's just ground to a halt. You guys are still maxed out in employment. No, 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 no. Sunflower oil, six. Let's take you up to ten. Somebody will go ahead and do that. One person here is more than enough when we don't even have any orders, right? That's right, there's no little marker over here now. Okay, so there's part of our, our labor that's been missing. Now, slaughter has been shut down. Are we, we're done here. We've got beef left, so we're done with hides. Um, 0.5 hides, they'll never use that last 0.5, so you're done as well. And this did get hired, right? Yeah. Do we want more? Let's think about this. Leather 5.3 over here. And here, no leather at all. You're not even doing it, your job. So, oh, I did that. That was my fault. I just realized it's zero, zero. Hmm. Okay. Let's bring in 10 leather. Okay. My bad. Come back to work, please. <laughs> oh, you don't need a week off, really. It wasn't that traumatic. <sighs> okay. Um. So that's good. So sunflower farm. That's probably the next logical thing to go into. There's no need for more fish, a fishery, even though we're itching to make more boats. But we have more fish than we know what to do with right now. Uh, fish 16, and we haven't even hired it for the year. That's enough there to get us through the next year and still have extra. Um, flour. There you are, 9 0.02, so there's no need to hire an extra uh, windmill operator. This over here did get brought in. It's bringing wheat. 15 wheat. How much wheat is available to us? Is it the 15? 15.2. 15 it's all here already. We'll need to deal with that job until next year, or at least till after the harvest. So you're available. So more of the planting is going to get done, and hopefully more of the weavers. Good. So three textile. So probably could fire off one textile worker and get some clothes made. So 158. We'll see next episode if that starts to escalate. Um, otherwise, let's think about a farm and drop it in, I assume, through here. But that makes a pretty nice pathway through as well. Hmm... Well, I'll tell you what, I'll leave myself some notes for next time to think about a farm here. I think I'd want to take more time to plan it than I've got left in this episode. I don't want to rush something like that. It's kind of fun to plan out a farm. But this one took an episode and a half to get it right. So, yeah, there's no, there's no way I can quickly just whip one up. So, is there anything else that needs to be done between now and whenever we record?
record this series again? I don't think so. Population. Unemployment. 11%. More men than women, but they're usually out doing the construction jobs, that's why. Open vacancy, 16. Even though there's unemployment. That's interesting. Um, open vacancy, 17. So it's just going to cycle in and out. Yeah. Uh, adults, 45 adults, 36 of them are working. Okay. Cows, 10. Cows, 10. We had 6 and 6, right? Why are there cows, 10? They have moved out into the fields. And you're showing 7, and you're showing 7. Oh, cows versus other things like bulls. That might be it. One bull there, and one, two, three bulls there. Okay, so four bulls out of 14, that leaves 10. Okay, that works. So is there anything else to do? I don't think so. Other than just waiting for these guys to get the planting done. So I think this is a nice, calm place to stop this one. And patch 6 didn't really have a lot to it. So I'm hoping that patch 7 is going to have far more you know, new buildings and, and whatnot thrown into the game. At which time we'll load those into the queue and get them going. So I'm going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler, and I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.